it's, it always feels good when somebody says it's nice to see you. I mean, this could be the alternative. And tell me when you guys are ready. Ready, Coach. All right, uh, it was good to get back out today. You know, yesterday uh, just had meetings. Um, was able to look look over the the previous three days. Um, you spent a lot of time. Um, you know, just could continue to hone in on the on the details. Came back today with another, um, you know, probably our last big installation. Um, looking at some different things. Had. Um, the third down period emphasis, you know, trying to trying to incorporate you know, more of those situational moments. I think guys have done a good job the first three days. Uh, you'll really like the energy of the defense. You know, I uh, thought uh, you know in the third practice, you know, the offense did some some really good things. You know, you know, competitive plays. I thought there was a good response from the defense today. Uh, seeing guys flying around, um, you know, I, I like the I like what I'm seeing up front. That forcing unit. Uh, in the front seven, I thought the guys in the back end really competed, uh, competed well. Uh, really trying to look at a couple different combinations. Some, uh, some young guys, you know, you know getting a chance to, to showcase what they can do, and just you're seeing that confidence continue to emerge. Uh, you know, offensively, I mean, there were some, there were some good moments. Um, you know, just overall consistently, got to have to be better. Uh, you know, like I said, we added, we added some, some new things, and you know. Have some uh, some younger guys just trying to you know putting all that together. So we gotta we gotta continue to clean up the details. Um, you know, had a, had a couple drops in third down situations, which obviously we gotta you know have great focus there. Um, but you know all in all, I thought it was a good day. Um, just continuing to, to to push that mindset. You know, regardless of the circumstance or the things that are, are going on around you, just coming out and being your best and focus on those uh, on those details. But um, you know, I, I like what I saw. Uh, I think we're getting some good work in our special teams units. Uh, some young young guys, uh, you know, really, you know, you know, having their moments of uh, you know, defensively. Azari Thomas, I thought he did some really good things. I think he's put together a really good start uh, start of camp. Um, you know, I, I tell you, um, you know, it's 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 impressive to see just the the. Emotional maturity that some of these guys are showing. Uh, it's not a, not all. I mean, we got. I mean, you, but you look at like the some of the young offensive linemen and the way that they're coming in. And like I said, you got a lot thrown on them. But you know, all six of those guys, I'm I'm very excited about what they're going to be able to do. Um, you know, as they continue to go through this fall camp. You know, Rodney Hill is a guy that I thought uh, is continuing to flash. I, I like uh, you know, the, you know the steps I'm seeing from him as well. So, uh, all in all, that was a good day. Byron Turner is a guy who didn't really get this experience last year. Has he started to flash some more? He has. I mean, I think Byron, Patrick, I mean, those guys, uh, those young ends, I mean, we're, you know, we're hopeful to see those those steps and, you know, with the with the reps, with the with the opportunity. I mean, it's, uh, I think they're they're showing that, you know, they're getting there in their preparation of to be able to go out there and make plays. And so, um, you know, I thought it, it's good seeing Dennis. You know, Dennis was limited a little bit here this uh you know, this spring and you know here these first few days. I mean, he's gonna, I mean, he's got a chance to have a special year. I'm excited about what I'm seeing from him and um, you know there at the end position. Have you guys been able to run two full fields like that since you've been here? We've done it. It's just not looked very good. And so, um, what I like is the quality of reps that we're getting, and that's something that um, you know it's important to. You know, and there's still challenges. I mean, there's still times when you have newcomers and you split them up. But I want those guys to get reps. And the, the, like I said, the quality of the reps are make what make it very beneficial. Um, you know, you can work communication, but if there's, you know, sometimes if there's some, you know, s staggering talent level, uh, um, you know, differences. But I think we got great competition in that young group. Um, of the new guys and some guys, we just need to. I mean, you look at some positions. We're we're rolling. You know, with pretty good depth, and you know, just to make sure those guys are getting the quality reps that they need. Um, you know, guy like I mean, Josh Farmer, who you know, coming into to this year, you know, you you saw some unbelievable development here throughout the course of last year. I mean, now you're really seeing him take some real positive steps. Positive steps. I mean, absolutely emerge himself, and you're going to be a strong uh, contributor in our rotation. And um, you know, so that's just an example of a guy that kind of come to mind. But uh, yeah, we we definitely the, the two groups is now helping us. Um, because we're, because of the quality of the of the groups. So through the spring too, just how natural it seems like uh, playmaker Azari is. How impressed are you with that asset of his game? Oh, that's that's one of the things. I mean, coming in, you knew the the ability that he has as a um, as a playmaker. You watch his high school film, the oh. offensive plays. I mean, that was really. I mean, he did so much you know, quality work on the offensive side of the ball. But um, you know, his his 
I mean, he's a very fluid mover, and, he, and I mean, he's explosive. You know, he's got great ball skills. You know, he finds a way, he finds a knack just to be able to, to put himself in a in a great position. Um, and you know, he had a couple today that I just love. Uh, I love what I'm seeing. I'm seeing those those positive those positive steps, and he he plays with a uh, with a great deal of confidence for a young player. And you know, it's it's one thing. You know, any anybody can have a good attitude when you're when it's going good, but whenever you get beat on a play, you know, I mean, he's had a couple a couple of those too, and just his. Um, the, the way he's able to transition to the next play, and, and that's a that's a learned skill for some guys. Uh, you know, a lot of guys come in, they've been the best guy, and they don't experience much defeat in practice or uh, uh, you know in games when they're in high school. Then they come to college, and you know it's a different game. And you got to that's that's one of those defining you know factors for a young guy to be able to play early. You go through the, the spring and see the summer. I'm sure you're hopeful, but does it still impress you to see the quality of reps that you're getting up and down? So far. I think it's been good work, and I mean, we're, we, you know, we knew we wanted to push that. Um, you know, I've, I've liked, uh, I've liked the mindset of the guys. You know, I thought, I thought we had a little bit of a, um, you know, to say a lull. I mean, you know, hitting some of those late, late middle pra- uh, uh, periods in practice. Uh, you know, guys got to maintain maintain focus. So, you know, when they're in the heat and when they're, you know, when it's, it's that kind of those moments of truth. But I mean, uh, you know, that's where you you really force it because you're going to groups, and so guys have, you know, it's we're accelerating the number of reps that they're getting, and um, you know, really trying to push that that mental and physical fatigue. So, I thought that was good. Will be full pads on Monday or Tuesday, and how much are you looking forward to uh, amping it up a bit? More? Yeah, it'll be. Uh, what is today? Uh, today's Sunday. Okay, good. So, uh, so it'll be the sixth practice. So. Tuesday. Okay. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you know, I, I think that's one of the things that, you know, when you're in when you're in uppers, you want to get good work. You want to be able to to work pad level, to work you know proper footwork. Um, it definitely helps being able to do that at a better pace, protecting upper body. Um, but it won't it won't you know. But you have to stay on the ground. You have to stay off of the ground. And you know there won't be a whole lot of change with that. You know come. Uh, um, and full pads, but I mean, it, it does let you play, you know, free, and let you, you know, there's going to be some moments to, to, to work on certain things where, you know, whether it's roll, the, the roll tackles or different things that where you, you're going to end up, you know, on the ground more. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward just to continued process of growth, and um, you know, we'll probably get, you know, come, uh, come Tuesday, we'll probably get some, uh, some serious work where put guys in situations that, that they, they've got to sequence it and, and, and have that in your mind. So really looking forward to that too. All the different regulations the NCAA's done with acclimation periods and the amount of practice you can get, does that give you an opportunity as a head coach to kind of be creative and, and give you an edge over maybe your competitors? I mean, other coaches might have I mean, you, I, I, I absolutely believe that. The organizational approach to what you do is uh, is important. And uh, I think that when you look at the structure, I must spend a lot of time. Uh, you know, we've got a great, a great staff. You know, with Coach Storms, you know, Scott Truluck, um, you know, uh, Josh Chapman. I mean, we look at, uh, you know, uh, all areas of what we've been able to to do. You know, we look at all the data and make sure that we're keeping guys in the best. You know, we're getting the work that we need to get to condition us for what we're for what's coming. But I also want to make sure we have that balance, keeping guys uh, healthy, and that we can get the quality of the work. And I think, you know, looking at all the data, um, you know, Jackson uh, has done a, a great job. You know, our uh, new director of sports science. I think he's done a phenomenal job of being able to to bring some ideas, be able to implement that. But as we've structured, you know, our fall camp and and, and all things that. Uh, that have changed, I think it's been a real benefit. After a set with a guy like Jordan or any of your quarterbacks, you can, you know, if they have a good set, you kind of run up to them and give them some encouragement. Is there something specific that you try to, to reinforce in those moments? Or yeah, well, if Jordan? there's, yeah, if there's, a, if there, if there's the moments, uh, you know, sometimes like Jordan had a set today of, uh, of third down plays where there was uh, a couple of times he put us in in great positions for what would have been, you know, maybe even a fourth and short. And you know, in the moment. Like you have to take what they give us in in some situ in, in situations, um, but you know what on the outside, you might want you know a certain result from the outside, but understanding that you did your job in that moment, you put us in a great position. You know sometimes a throwaway is a is the right thing rather than putting the ball in jeopardy. And so just trying to make sure that you know, that in the moment they understand that hey this that was something that was good. On the flip side of it, and, you know plenty of times where they do something that is not desired that they have to get that you know, immediate, immediate correction to to understand the emphasis and the importance of it. When you talk about Rodney Hill, I mean, obviously the speed is obvious, but, but what's he like in terms of like, the air? And- well, he's, I tell you, he's, he's a young man. He's got a great, he's got a great work ethic, desire, very smart young man. You know, he wants to be great. And 
you know, a lot of people can talk about that desire, but very few are willing to put in that work. And, you know, in, coming in the spring, I mean, let's look at his body. I mean, I, I don't, uh, he could probably tell you, but I, no, he might have been pushing closer to the, uh, uh, to the one, low 170s, and he's close to 190 right now. And, I mean, just his body has changed. His confidence is emerging every day. And, I mean, he wants to be good in protections. He wants to, he wants to be a complete back. And, uh, you know, you see some of the physicality things that show up with him, and you know what's coming. I mean, he's going to be he's gonna be a really good player here. I mean, so I'm excited about I'm excited about what his future is. Do you like us being Basketball. chipper and, and welcoming you when you get to the podium? I mean, do you like the way that Jared Verse comes out here and, and talks to his guys and, and welcomes them to the practice field before they get started? Uh, is, yes, the encouraging aspect of it. And sometimes, uh, sometimes I uh, bring a little bit of challenge, but uh, I do like, I want energy. I mean, that's, I think there's something that, how do you approach today? You know, if you come, you come and you see, you see somebody, you see, you see a teammate. You know, you know, work's coming. I mean, it, it might be hot, it might be this, but you know, you can put, you can put yourself in a mindset. Today's going to be a great day. Now, you know, sometimes being controlled in that emotion, you know, is I think is also important too. When you find situations that, you know, you, you got to be a very. I want everybody to be emotional, right? Because it's an emotional game, but controlled and, and showing that emotional maturity is also critically important. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Y'all have a great one. All right, we're going to have Amari on.